Yes, so with the public advisors, I wanted them to think how socioeconomic, um, we, we, to talk about health inequalities, I wanted them to think how socioeconomic conditions are the best predictor for health inequalities. And the question is quite big, so we decided to split the workshop in three parts. So we will take them slowly, like flowing. So in the first part, we explore the concept of social class, that some people might not be comfortable talking about social class, but uh, um, we think it's important to raise that awareness of what is social class and how it might impact on health. I don't, I, think, I don't think there's any other factor of social class apart from money that can contribute to health. Or am I wrong? I probably am wrong, but um, we need to think it that way. Then in the second bit, we explore the links between socioeconomic class or socioeconomic conditions and health, and we chose three different examples. I wanted them to think what causes health inequalities and why health inequalities are not health differences and what, what, what criteria, what factors make a health problem an inequality. Health inequalities are health problems that impact differently on uh, different socio-economic groups. One of the key points for me is that I am really impressed the way they understood what health inequalities is. And I think everybody, every, everybody in every single discussion I had on the tables and on the deposits, that health inequalities are systematic. And by systematic, we mean that they are not intentional and is because they are persistent and that there is a very clear, so that means that there is a clear pattern. Oh, everybody understood that, I think, in that room. And that is and it's brilliant because often when you talk about public, when you talk about health inequalities, people tend to drift to the, or tend to talk about the lifestyle drift, blaming the individuals rather than seeing how the social conditions impact on people's health. When Pleasant Street became unpleasant street, the, the reason for that was that the hotels turned most of the place into DSS places. I've and for me, the key points is that they understood, they were on board with me. They really understood how people's choices and behaviour is shaped by wider forces. I feel that health inequalities are a systematic negligence that's dependent on social class and background. I think the, the most important for me is that they understood that health inequalities are systematic. That means that they are predictable and there is a pattern. They understood that. And I think as well they understood that there is an issue of fairness or unfairness. Uh, I think they understood that as well. So when I was giving them the example of academics, they have been more likely to develop, to develop back problems. They, they were very clear that it was not about inequalities because it was missing the issue of justice in there. So the fact that inequalities are systematic and they're unfair, and because they are unfair, because they are socially created, they can be avoidable as well. So those three things um, that they wanted them to take away, they, they were very clear. They believe that you know, health inequalities are avoidable, even though they're systemic. Um, and Sometimes they can be aggravated by political negligence and just not knowing what to do at a certain time. But they seem to manifest in, in a lot of uh, deprived socio-economic situations. I did enjoy very much because they were very participative. They were, I felt they were, conf they, were, um, they were happy to share what they thought. They didn't feel shy about being wrong or not. Um, and they were very lively in the discussions and asking questions and even challenging if they disagree, which I very much appreciate because that triggers for the discussion. So I actually, I'd love to come back to this group and work a bit for the, uh, with them, with the higher the Health Inequalities Assessment Toolkit. I think we could do it and I am sure they will. Well, I got the feeling that they will want to engage again with health inequalities. Mm -hmm.